Hello and good morning. How are you? I hope everyone is fine. This video is for my international audience who can easily understand English language. Now in my previous video I explained a little comparison between a branded perfume and a non-branded perfume. Like you go to a perfume shop where branded perfumes are sold. Mostly the branded perfumes are sold in big departmental stores. The big shops, the branded shops like Creed branded shop, uh, Dior branded shop, Calvin Klein branded shop. There the prices ranges from like uh, different from $30, $50 to $300, $400 depend upon the perfume and the launch. Now on the other side, when you select an impression of that particular uh, fragrance, uh, perfume you go to a category like uh, you buy a fragrance oil of it and one category is applying fragrance oil and the other category is to convert that fragrance oil into a perfume which is normally done in other or fragrance oil shop or available all around the world there are different fragrance oil essential oil shops selling branded impression perfume oils now if you ask them okay I cannot buy that $300 uh, branded perfume, just make an impression of it for me. Now, uh, the, the, the real game starts here. Now, if one, note one thing. Many people, I listen to their voices and they are saying that, okay, why don't we buy that $300 perfume? It's a for $5 or $20 impression is available in the normal perfume shops. So they give many thousands of thousands of justifications for that. But they are skipping one thing. Their health. You know, if health is there, you enjoy all those luxuries. If your health is not there, you cannot enjoy those luxuries. You are paying price. $150, $300 for a perfume of branded perfume like Creed, like Tom Ford, like Gucci, like Mansera, like different companies you are buying perfume oils or perfume uh, sprays, branded perfume sprays, you are giving that price because they are packed in a very fancy box and the bottle and the wrapping of plastic sheet on it. So you pay that price. Now, one thing you note that these perfumes, these branded perfumes are made through a process, through an R&D process, research and development process. There is someone at the back end who checks that which type of chemicals are added in that perfume. Either those chemicals are safe for your health or whether those chemicals are not safe for your health. There is a guy, there is a chemist, there is a person, there is a manager standing at the back who is checking all those things. And once that uh, it passed through that point, then it further goes to the international checking agencies where these agencies give certifications to those perfumes and mark their logo at the bottom of the perfume box. You see the different logos at the placed at the bottom of the perfume box that reflect that it's passed through different health agencies or perfume checking agency the different certifications so you are paying the price 300 dollars not only the price of a perfume but also the price of that checking and the passing and all those things that this perfume will not destroy your health this perfume will not destroy your lungs. This perfume will not destroy your kidneys. This perfume will not interface with a newborn baby. You understand when you apply a perfume, the perfume somehow goes in your bloodstream also. Through your pores and through your mouth. Because most of the people spray like they have a habit of applying 20 to 25 sprays. And sometimes the spray goes in their mouth. And it goes inside in their body. And when they intercourse uh, with their partner and then after that when a new baby born, lots of complications are there. It's a medical thing. I cannot explain in detail. But this happens to those who apply perfumes which are 
not properly made from a proper chemical so you are paying the price like $300 $150 $100 for that particular good quality perfume that perfume will make you safe from the hazards which i told you so that's why the price of those branded perfumes are high and one thing the appearance of the notes in that perfume you feel that appearance but for some time it will be like for 30 minutes or 50 minutes for the top notes and there is some time for 1 2 hours for the base no uh, middle notes and then the last 6 to 7 or 8 hours depending upon the longevity of the perfume the base notes you can easily understand those notes by when you apply that perfume but on the other side other side is that someone told you there is a shop in that corner particular street and that corner in that market that guy is selling loose perfume oils of that branded companies okay you buy that loose perfume oil it's good it's not that bad apply that perfume oil on your clothes it's good it's good it's not it's not a bad thing it there is no health hazard in that perfume oil till that perfume oil no health hazard but when you ask him no convert that perfume oil into a perfume into a perfume spray alcoholic spray then the problem arises. then you compare that 300 dollar perfume with a 5 dollar perfume or 10 dollar perfume now one thing note down perfume is only made by a product called ethanol it's a chemical ethanol ethanol is alcohol and perfume is made by this chemical now this chemical ethanol is not the only ethanol available on the earth there are different 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 types of ethanol which is used in different type of industries like ethanol used in medical industry is a different type of ethanol ethanol used in perfume industry is a different type of ethanol ethanol used in the cleaning industry it's a different type of ethanol so in ethanol used in cosmetics is a different type of ethanol and even in different categories there are many variations of that ethanol so these all things the R&D department of the particular factory knows that which type of ethanol is suitable for humans and they synchronize their regulations with IFRA regulations and other WPC World Perfumery Council regulations and different other regions regulations so these these are the main thing they they keep an eye on the their production process and everything that no harmful uh, chemical is used in that particular perfume so selecting a proper ethanol is the duty of that particular r d manager research and development manager now on the other side when you buy a perfume when you ask a guy convert that fragrance oil into a perfume what he do he just he may be a layman he may be not that much educated he just only know that okay ethanol he, he may be open a shop on the basis of some youtube videos okay okay take a ethanol and then mix a fragrance oil in it and just put some fixative in it and mature it for 15 days and your perfume is ready he's making a perfume like that but he doesn't know that which type of which which particular type of ethanol is used in making a perfume now you feel very happy when you see oh i am getting aventus creed perfume in five dollars you are you don't 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 do like that first ha happy when first ask that particular shop owner that which type of chemical you are using to make a perfume show me the bottle you have a right to ask him that show me the bottle which type of perfume you are making with that for, for uh, which, which which type of chemical you are using for making that particular perfume see the label of that ethanol what type of ethanol is that is that ethanol is denatured with the compatible denaturing agent used for perfumes or is that particular ethanol is for industrial use 
if that ethanol is denatured by methanol it's written that it's denatured by methanol then don't use that meth ethanol for making perfume because it got a poison in it when you apply that ethanol denatured with that uh, methanol apply that perfume on your skin it may irritate you even if if you drink that it may destroy your body parts i i told you the previous all the health hazard with that that will occur with you the only ethanol which is denatured by a agent which is called denatonium benzoate the bitrex only that particular ethanol is suitable for making perfumes if that shopkeeper that particular guy doesn't got that type of ethanol even that guy is selling you that perfume in 1 dollar don't buy that perfume you are just killing yourself with that perfume that's the comparison between us cheap perfume and a branded shop perfume you are buying a cheap perfume sacrificing your life your body parts everything your children your environment you get a very high blood pressure when you use a different type of ethanol and in some countries in some african countries even in asia in india and pakistan and in bangladesh sri lanka and all those areas people use methanol to make perfumes these shopkeepers use methanol they are i am telling you they are not so much educated they don't know that they are killing people using that t20 and methanol thing and but practically and technically you can make a perfume with methanol it works but that is not suitable for your health for human health is not suitable you can make a perfume with methanol you can make a perfume with degraded version of methanol that is called t20 which got impurities in it you can make a perfume it give you a good uh, projection but don't use that it will kill your body parts once you use when you apply that methanol based perfumes on your body you see a skin irritation skin allergy skin uh, ca skin cancer type of things when even if you are a high user like if you are if you feel that okay i got a 5 dollar perfume a venta screen a supplier uh, many many sprays on that so maybe it goes from your mouth to your inside body and you know when methanol is a poison if you drink 10 ml of a methanol instantly you get killed your retina of eye is ruptured your body parts gone so don't i am again telling you don't feel happiness that you just buy a 10 or 20 dollar perfume against that 300 dollar perfume of by, made by a branded company which passed through so much r&d departments and you are claiming that okay i have i have bought that perfume in 10 20 dollars and i am enjoying now i can have a flexibility to apply how many many sprays on my body if that particular chap is using the same category ethanol then you feel happy and you are 100% sure that that same things are included in that now one thing here if because my video is going all around the world i know i know even even i don't know i don't think that even a single country left from where any person can cannot call me so if someone wants a clarification and detail clarification on that my whatsapp number is written there it's plus 92313145786 that's my direct whatsapp number call me i'll give you explanation in detail i'll help you if any shopkeeper around the world doesn't know in detail about that ethanol thing can call me i can explain it to him because i i feel that i play a part in saving lives of different people around the world if someone is uh, unconsciously or uh, abnormal uh, if someone doesn't know that uh, he just know the business uh, ideas and tips and tricks and doesn't know about the chemistry and the chemical things and he is using the wrong chemicals i can guide him okay don't use that chemical take more money from the 
customers and ask them we are providing you in uh, good chemical the ethanol which is same used in the factories you are getting the same uh, perfume that price is $50 $60 whatever your cost is just charge from the customer why don't you use a degraded version of alcohol that kills yourself because once you apply that perfume which is made by methanol you are just sacrificing your life you are not enjoying even you, you feel a fragrance around you for many hours but on the other side uh, that perfume is killing you so whenever you buy a perfume from a perfume non branded shop ask him to show you the bottle of that particular ethanol and you will need to check that if that particular ethanol is denatured by methanol say no to him don't make that perfume with that ethanol use the ethanol which is denatured by denatonium benzoate bitrex use that ethanol do not use that ethanol which is denatured by some industrial denaturing agent so and the, and the methanol methanol is an again a poisonous thing when when methanol comes it comes with a G, ghs hazard like a, a skeleton a poisonous skeleton hazard pasted on that and it's also inflammable and the degraded degraded version of that methanol which is called t20 not twin 20 twin 20 is a different thing t20 t for terminator t20 is a replica name of that methanol like degraded version of methanol which got impurities in it mostly in india pakistan these type of chemicals are used but do not use these chemicals for making a perfume though chemicals can be made by this perfume by this chemicals but don't use these chemicals for making perfume you are killing yourself also plus the life of the customer is also sacrificed when you make perfume and you spray to just check the perfume that particular perfume which is made by methanol is also affect your human body you know when most of the time it's seen that the shopkeepers have a very rude attitude when you come to them they have a very rude why this rude attitude because they when they use that methanol based perfume it increases your blood pressure and it destroy your mood and your you, you look disturbed all the time whenever you whenever a customer come to you you look disturbed there is a word in urdu chirchirapan it is like a, a man is all the time in a mood of fighting <laughs> fighting mode so that type of uh, attitude appear when you apply these methanol based things it increase your blood pressure it it may give you diabetes it may uh, destroy your respiratory system maybe it destroy your eye retina and all those things and one thing i'll tell you do not apply that perfumes on that vaginal parts i know some people have different habits but do not apply that perfume on that vaginal parts you don't know that these are already poisonous things even the branded perfume i i will not suggest you apply that things on the private parts and all those things do not make that habit this apply the perfume on the clothes that's all because when you apply a perfume on a cloth the fiber sticks with the, the molecule of that perfume sticks with the fiber and the fixatives hold that perfume on the cloth and it produces the diffusion cycles the multiple cycles all the time so when you apply it on your skin though you can apply a branded perfume they added some chemicals that uh, doesn't harm your skin but i will not recommend people to apply it on your skin let your skin natural don't play your skin with the chemicals apply the perfume on the close on the safe side so whenever you are buying a perfume a non branded perfume you need to make sure all those things 
that the ethanol which that particular guy is using is that compatible with the branded companies if it's not compatible don't buy that perfume you are buying your you are just killing yourself by the perfume that's why these perfumes are cheap and the company made branded perfume though there are some uae made branded perfumes available on the stores on the shelves like 15 to 20 dollars in the good packing good bottling because they are made in a factory there are some research and r d departments there that shopkeeper cannot hire that r d specialist to check the all those things if someone needs those services you can call me and i'll provide you those services i i also charge you a little amount but i mean i can tell you the exact things what are you uh use in making a good quality perfume i can source you from to that products in wherever you country in wherever you are living i can get you connected with that company for that service i'll charge something but even there there is a guy who who can who is available who can tell you that don't buy that type of thing which is killing people now people you people don't get happy when you buy perfumes like you buy a perfume like five ten dollars in comparison with that three hundred dollars perfume that three hundred dollar perfume is passed through so many processes and when you buy a perfume from a shopkeeper don't use that perfume instantly when you freshly made a perfume you see he mix ethanol with the perfume oil and the fixatives and pack you in the bottle just do not spray that perfume at that time Take that perfume, wrap into a uh, some plastic sheet, tape it, and just put it in a fridge lower compartment for at least one month or two months. After two months, use that perfume because every perfume, fixatives, ethanol, perfume oil, they need a maceration time, the mixing time. The minimum time is like twenty to twenty-five days, and the gold standard is, standard is forty-five days. So let the perfume lay down there in the fridge for like wrap it into the shop uh, shopper or plastic so that the fragrance is not mix with the food items, or put it into a closed airtight container, and just just be there for like two months. And after two months, use that perfume. That's the gold standard. But again. Um, do not use that methanol type of chemicals in the perfumes that you can make a perfume that but even not so many people die from corona people also die from these type of chemicals they don't know these things killing them slowly by slowly and after one day they'll discover that they have lungs rupture they have kidney problem they have blood pressure problem the heart attack problems all those problems can be done with that thing so you don't feel happy uh, that you buy a 300 you just skip a 300 dollar perfume or 150 dollar perfume and you bought a replica of that i am enjoying and i have a luxury of applying that 15 20 sprays a day it's not it's not like that the game is not the people who are selling you in a cheaper price they know they are selling they are they are selling wrong product to you which you may die at uh, earlier if you uh, without if you use a good quality product maybe you live like 60 to 70 years but if you use that particular wrong product maybe your life last after 45 or 50 years you lost your life and in in these type of situation you don't know that how you die you don't know that uh, whether you die with using a wrong cosmetic product or wrong thing some people got cancer maybe they use some uh, product uh, some type of methanol based perfume in their life and they spray it all over their body that goes inside and activate those cancer cells you don't know and one day you would discover that oh you got cancer and then you are going in hospitals and you are then again paying thousands of dollars well, you are not willing to pay at that particular time that $150 for a branded perfume. You opt a wrong decision to buy a $10, $15 perfume from a other shop who is making those perfumes with methanol or degraded version of that ethanol. So the 
decision i put decision in front of you the video which previously i made in urdu language is for normal indian indian continent customers but that particular video is making for international customers who understand english all around the globe so don't buy that perfume which is made with methanol or degraded version of alcohol always buy a perfume always give preference to international brands perfume because they pass through the r&d departments research and development department plus they pass through the gcms machines which certifies that no harmful chemical inside that you see the logos the health agencies the certifying agencies logos at the bottom of the perfume these are good perfume that's why they are charging high the guy which is giving you the impression of that perfume is that's why because he, he he even himself doesn't know that which type of chemical is used in making a perfume you know you can make a perfume with poison but that kills you for your own body use a perfume which doesn't kill you which give you player luxury enjoy you can enjoy yes you can use fragrance oil that particular fragrance oil can be used there is no harm in that fragrance oil you need to apply it on your clothes maybe sometimes you need to apply on the skin your arm wrist and all those places but that doesn't harm you but that but still when it comes from the factory they said the skin irritation may occur with using the fragrance oil directly on the skin i prefer you people to apply it on the clothes easily easy solution if that doesn't long last on the clothes reapply it keep a small bottle of fragrance oil in your pocket reapply it on the uh, uh, on your clothes if you need more projection after 5 hours 6 hours that's no problem it's very cheap in price but making a spray from of that fragrance oil with methanol or low alcoholic uh, uh, not safe alcoholic chemicals and compare it with the 300 dollar perfume is your big mistake because that chemical and if if in the last if some particular guy is using good quality ethanol i appreciate that guy buy from them yes if he shows you that okay this is my bottle and it's written that it's ethanol denatured with sda 40b recipe and uh, it's a bitterx and safe if you drink that particular thing you cannot die it's that give you a bitterx effect some normal ardent effects but you, you didn't die it didn't kill your because in lots of international products bitterx red color logo is placed on the bottles even if that children inhale that thing it doesn't kill them it just have a bitter taste so learn all those things if you need to learn all those things you want more knowledge of uh, perfume making just contact me on my whatsapp number my whatsapp number is written on the screen plus 9231314578611 i also provide you the business consultancy of like connecting you people with the fragrance manufacturers and the alcohol manufacturers all around the globe but i charge something for that service and this free information i'll tell you to those people who cannot pay and you, you they they are all interested in free information so the free information is here in the videos i am telling you like most of the free information like don't there's a comparison between a branded and a non branded perfume so let's see from this point further how you purchase your the people living in uk the people living in america usa california canada the people living in arab countries uae the people especially people using methanol perfumes in african region australia china russia and all those places the people which are using these type of perfumes which are made from methanol let's discard their product from today and start their a new perfume catalog with the perfume which are certified used by methanol or uh, used by ethanol which is denatured by sda 40b recipe which is like that a particular ethanol is made or denatured with the bitterx denatonium benzoate all other ethanols discard all other ethanols and from today start with a new thing
and give your customers good quality products i don't uh, discard that the that uh, these non branded shops are selling they are selling good products most of them are selling good product most of them are using because i am convincing since last 4 5 years to use that denatured ethanol i am telling them no one tell on the internet about that thing i am telling them from last 4 5 years use this ethanol this ethanol in every video i push them to use this ethanol this ethanol this ethanol now i am giving you a comparison why you pay 300 400 150 200 dollars for a perfume branded perfume and when you buy a cheaper perfume what are the disadvantages of that cheaper perfume so these things are there in front of you i hope you understand i hope now you understand the concept and uh, i hope in future you buy a good product for your health and life and for your own self and for if you are giving a gift to some uh, your close mates you buy a good quality product you don't buy a wrong product which uh, put someone in difficult times i hope everyone understand i hope everyone will be in the best of health and spirit thank you bye bye